Okay guys, here we have uh, the Viper uh, AC control board or circuit board, however you want to call it. Um, basically, I'm going to kind of give you a rundown of what this board is and does. Um, Alright, so let's start. Uh, terminals. You got down here the terminals, you got your power, goes right here. Uh, so you got your positive and neutral, um, and then for um, the... Uh, ground uh, goes anywhere where it says GND or kind of like one of these little lines in between the terminals um, or you can hook it up uh, straight to the motor base um, that will give you you know uh, ground on there and grounds everything up um, here three terminals it's going to be your uh, motor your motor connection um, you got your black on the third terminal, white on the fourth one, and red on the fifth one. Um, the white one is actually your neutral. Um, so just to kind of give you an, an idea, you can always swap the um, the motor wires, uh, the red and, and, and black around. Uh, the white one definitely needs to stay always in the middle on terminal number four. Um, if your motor comes with the plug then it goes right here um, oops um, and here's where your capacitor plug will go um, if the motor that you have does not come with a uh, plug then it goes right here uh, terminal 6 and 7 um, these two terminals here are normally not used but you can hook up a, um, a light like an exterior light to the um, to the uh, gate opener or better yet to the uh, control board here and be able to depending how you have the receiver hooked up here if you have a receiver that's actually an exterior receiver and you hook it up here um, that will um, give you a light switch which is right here um, so if you have the the receiver the exterior exterior receiver that goes for Viper uh, and it's hooked up to these terminals here um, the yellow button usually is the one that will trigger the light to turn on and off um, and the uh, blue button will operate the gate opener um, the light can be used for anything you have an outside exterior light that you want to turn on while you're coming into the house um, that's what you would do uh, with, the, with the button on the remote control um, you got your on and off switch here you got your uh, fuse here, six amp fuse. Um, uh, let's see here. Okay, so over here you got your limit switch. If uh, your limit switch has a plug, it goes right there. If it doesn't, then it goes right here. Um, uh, being that being said, uh, as you can tell, it says red, um, close, and then it says ground, and then it says open. So your green wire or blue wire for the limit switch will go there. Again, the white one in the middle, that's your ground or your common. The close will be your red. Um, and that basically is how the limit switch gets connected. IR um, will be your photo safety beam connection. So you got uh, four wires on your photo safety beam. Um, two of the contact uh, wires will be connected to these two terminals here. IR and common. And then your power will go connected to... 24 volt AC output. Um, you got your antenna right there. You got your receiver right there. Uh, on this new edition board, um, the Viper has uh, come up with. Uh, you got the P1. That's your programming uh, button for your remote control. Um, and we'll, we'll make another video on how to program uh, the remote controls to the board. Um, here you have your open adjustment and overload adjustment for close and open. Uh, what this does is basically to give you more power or less power to the motor. Um, so if you run into an, an issue where gate um, doesn't want to open all the way or close all the way, here's where you adjust your, your power of the motor. This is your little uh, buzzer or siren uh, once you turn on the board. Uh, you hear a little beeping sound coming out of there and of course also uh, if it hits something along the way it'll stop and reverse and as it's reversing 
you will get that beeping sound coming out of there as well. And this is your uh, dip switches. Um, dip switches for the um, automation of the board, uh, not for your dip switching for the uh, remote control. So a lot of people get this one messed up and try to set their remote controls to this or this to the remote controls. Um, you don't want to do that. This is only for the automation of uh, the control board. So that being said, um, the first, the first um, um, dip switch on there is your normally open or normally close um, uh, setup. And what that does is if you have a limit switch that is normally closed, you would turn it on. If you have a limit switch that says normally open or NO, you would uh, turn it off uh, towards the number one. Um, the auto close is number two, three, and four. Auto close will be, uh, as you can tell at the top there, it says 12, 25, and 45 seconds, I believe. Um, that will be two and three and four. So basically, if you want 12 seconds, you would turn on number two, turn off three and four, or if you want 45 seconds, you would turn on number four, turn off number two and three. Uh, number five is your directional uh, terminal, I mean, uh, dip switches. And what that does is basically if you are um, opening the gate and you got uh, open light turning on here while the gate is moving, then um, you're good. If, you, if, it, if the gate is opening and your closed light is turning on, then you want to change dip switch number five to the opposite of what you have. Um, the reason for this is it normally doesn't make a difference if all you have is a um, motor with nothing in it. But as soon as you put in a photo safety beam, um, then that becomes an issue. You want to make sure you are going um, uh, the correct way. So if you're going, if you're closing, you want to make sure the closed light is turning on. If you're opening, you want to make sure the open light is turning on. Uh, very important on that. Um, six doesn't get used. Seven and eight is your channels for the receiver. Um, so basically, in this board that's got the receiver connected already on the board, um, the number seven will be your yellow button or your first channel. Uh, number eight will be your blue button, um, uh, which is your second channel. Um, so if you have, if you want to use the yellow button you would turn on number seven if you want to use the blue button you would turn on number eight um, now that's only if you have the receiver that's connected on the board if you have uh, the receiver that's connected here then the, this doesn't matter this doesn't work uh, you will set up your uh, remotes to the receiver that's connected here um, that pretty much concludes our overview of the board um, really nice board reliable um, a lot of features on it, so hopefully this will makes, uh, make it easier for you to understand how the board works and uh, what it does.